Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video I want to talk to you about a package for Emacs that offers an interface to the ripgrep command line tool. The package is called rg.el and inside of Emacs it is simply referred to as rg. What I want to do in this video is show you the main interfaces of rg, uh, tour you around its uh, basic concepts and uh, commands, perhaps demo some of the minor tweaks that I have introduced and conclude with my rationale for opting for this package rather than one of its alternatives. Uh, before I proceed with the demo, I just want to highlight the fact that rg.el comes with a very useful uh, user manual. You can access it through the info pages, control H I to go to the info pages and you will find it uh, in the index of those uh, pages. Not to bother you too much with that, just to say that the manual is very informative and very helpful indeed. So with these out of the way, let's go straight to our demo and see how it goes. MXRG is your main point of entry, your first uh, point of contact with this uh, package. This is a fully interactive command and is one of the many that are available. You will find more in the manual. Uh, first, it asks you for a regular expression, but you can also type in a word. Let's start with a word. I want to search for operandi. Then it is asking you for a, a file type filter. In this case, I just want to select all, so I just uh, find that and select it. And then it is asking you for the directory uh, to limit your search to. I want to select the present working directory. So this is the results buffer. It appeared practically instantly. I can see in the header area there is lots of useful information over here. And then I can see that the results are grouped on a per file basis. This is a user uh, option. You can toggle it on or, or off. Uh, and I want to always have uh, the results grouped on a per file basis and I am able to uh, switch between files with key bindings that I have defined, meta n and meta p. Once you are inside of this buffer, you can go to a given line, but you can also use the mouse, by the way, but not, let's not do that. You can go to a given line and hit the return key and it will move you to that point because I had contracted the org headings. It didn't appear right away. Let's do this again. Let's go uh, to this one over here and we can see it moves us exactly to that point over there. Uh, the results buffer can be converted into an editable buffer the same way you would expect, for example, from the built-in occur command. I have shown this uh, several times in previous videos. Check my backlog. You can do it using the same key you would in occur, which is the letter E. So let's start with that. I hit E and now this has changed it to a writable state thanks to the wgrep package, so this is a dependency. And inside of this buffer, now that it is editable, you can run a keyboard macro, you can run search and replace in a given region, query replace, or you can do just an edit uh, the way you would like this. So I just want to do this. The point is not to show you how to edit, the point is that you can edit and then you can do it the same way you would edit any other Emacs buffer. So once you have uh, made some changes, you can see this is a tentative change. It has not been written to the file yet. To confirm your choice, you do control C twice. To cancel it, you do control C, control K. Let's confirm our choice. Control C twice, you can see all uh, capitals, all capitals here as well. So it worked right away. Let's uh, undo that change. We don't want it right now. And let's come back to this buffer and refresh it the way you refresh everything in Emacs with the letter G. Uh, save file, uh, no, don't save a file. Uh, and we can see that it refreshed the buffer. And in this case, the capitalization no longer exists, which is of course the correct. Now, what you can do in this results uh, buffer, you can do control H M 
which is the universal help, uh, help command for the major mode you are in and for all minor modes that you have uh, active. Uh, now I am using a very large font, so this buffer is, okay, this is a bit better. Uh, inside of the control H M buffer, you will get a description of the key bindings that you can use and what they are uh, doing. Uh, you can check this uh, on your own, you can refine your search, you can toggle uh, capitalization and so on, very straightforward. What I want to show you is something that uh, I really like, which is the letter M. If you hit the letter M, it will bring up the transient uh, pop-up menu. This is something that you are most probably familiar with from the uh, Magit package. This used to be a library inside of Magit, now it has become independent uh, and uh, other packages can uh, use it without uh, calling uh, Magit. Anyhow, uh, this transient buffer allows you to uh, refine your search further, the same way you uh, interact with Magit. You can see over here, for example, I could uh, change uh, my uh, search terms using the letter R. Let's do that. Let's uh, add a logical OR and search for Vivendi as well. Hit the return key. Uh, why it is asking me all the time? Maybe I made some changes to a file and I didn't save it. Uh, but no, not to worry too much about that. We can see that the search now has been updated and there are now uh, more hits than they were before. I can see already that it is matching what I expected. You can see either or, you can see them next to each other. This is a great, uh, very nice indeed. And if you hit M again, you can see all the options. I will not bother you with everything. If you want to exclude something, you can do hyphen T and then offer the types of files you would like to exclude and things of that nature. And once you are done, you just hit G again to uh, update uh, your uh, choice. So this is very nice indeed. But let's, uh, let's um, cancel that and let's come over here and uh, let me show you, uh, use, where do I have it? So let's come back here and you can see that I have, I want to show you because, and the reason I want to show you is because this is offered by this package. It is the ability to define your own um, function that uh, automates this interactivity that I showed you. So rather than have it uh, go me th uh, walk me through the steps of selecting a directory and things of that nature, I can define a function that uh, specifies what I want. In this case, I wanted to search for the root of my current uh, Git uh, project, if I am in a Git project, otherwise to just search recursively starting from the current directory. And I always want to search for hidden files. However, I wanted to exclude uh, Git, uh, the Git uh, files. Uh, these are all, of course, what you would pass to the command line uh, version of, of ribgrep. I will not bother you with the technicalities. I assume you will read the man page for uh, ribgrep. Uh, I bind this command to meta s and g. Uh, meta s is something that I always use. Let's do operandi vivendi, the last thing I typed in. By the way, not to type it in, just to close it. You can go through your history of what you typed in with meta n, meta p. So let's do that. And you can see again that I got the results that I am expecting. And again, everything is grouped by file. Everything is in place. I can see that it is matching things in my, uh, in my current uh, project that are not uh, directly related to Emacs and that's very nice indeed. I can edit this with the keyboard macros and all the other things I mentioned. Now let me show you the other thing that I particularly like about this package. It is the ability to save your searches and revisit them at a later point. You just hit the letter S, but before I do that, just to say that I have a custom function for the save uh, function, 
for minor reasons, you can check my code. I will link to it in the description. You can check my .emax. You can hit the letter S and this will save the results for you to revisit them later. You can revisit them the same way, way you revisit uh, any other buffer. But let's do another search. Let's now just search for operandi. Okay, it appeared over there, doesn't matter. It's because of my large font size. Let's save this again. And now let's close that. And now let's hit the letter L to list all of our saved searches. And you can see now that I have uh, very useful information over here. One search is the one I just saved with 104 hits the other with 207 hits. Let's go to the other one. You can see it over here. Let's hit L again. You can go to the previous one and you can see how that works. And the great thing about this is that this one is the iBuffer interface. So you can see how rg.el interacts with other Emacs packages that are built into Emacs and more generally how it uses the letter E to convert to an editable buffer the same way as occur. And the results buffer over here, for those of you that are familiar, is the same as the standard grep inside of Emacs. So in general, this is uh, the segue to why I am opting for this uh, package rather than it's one of its alternatives. The reason is that this package is completion framework agnostic. So I do not have to depend on Ivy or Helm or any other of the completion frameworks. Not that I am against it uh, in principle, but I want to be uh, flexible. I want to have packages that uh, do not uh, confine me in what I am doing. And I also like the fact that uh, rg.el tries to uh, remain faithful to the paradigms that are uh, implemented elsewhere inside of Emacs. As I said, grep, occur, ibuffer, these are all uh, positives in my book. And I am very happy to have discovered this package because now I can continue using iComplete. I have shown this in my previous video. iComplete as my completion framework for Emacs and have these external tools such as ripgrep covered by other packages rather than having to install Helm or Ivy or anything else. Uh, so that's all for now, folks. I will let you explore uh, the uh, Maggit-like menu that it offers. Also check the user manual. This is a very nice tool. And what I didn't show, but you can find it in the manual, is that inside of this custom um, search that you can uh, specify, you can also write a menu entry. So in case you are using the menu for something like that, you can have it over there for quick access. Anyway, that's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.